is close at hand. Can I start it now? They love that match. Grizzly. Love of mine, someday you will die, but I'll be close behind. I'll follow you into the dark. Good afternoon. I am Kaylee Rogers, and this is the final say. With me today is my awesome panel of Sorbo, Wally, Kelsey, and today working the board is Alex. Oh, oh all snap. right. Oh, Stepping up now, girl. Oh, <laughs> yes. Well, we have a fun <clears throat> show today for you guys. And if we're a little flustered, mm -hmm. it's because two people in our group decided to pull a very mean trick on us. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> I don't ha. know. I don't know. Ha. 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 And you guys will have to just see Wait and see, and you will see those clips very, very soon. Yeah. Let's just say it's kind of embarrassing. It's going to be on YouTube, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of oh, awesome. I it's kind of embarrassing. That. Oh, God. Um, well, <laughs> we have some interesting news for you guys. Let's start off with Kelsey with her health news. I am doing my health segment, and... This is kind of relating to health, but we're going to talk about our good old Miley Cyrus here. Oh, joy. Okay. Let's talk about her health. <laughs> How's the redneck wonder doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, Miley Cyrus can't stop, and she won't stop sticking out her tongue. Oh, great. <laughs> so what is her tongue revealing about her health? <laughs> She's it's insane. Well, besides that, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we know that, but... There's actually a way you could tell about someone's health just by looking at their tongue. Um, and Cher, do, does it, anyone know yeah. Cher? Yeah. yeah. Well, she made she a is. comment last month about the VMA performance. Oh, She said wow. to Miley, but not directly, through a U.S. Today article, and Chick, don't stick out your tongue if it's coded. <sighs> That, that, that was harsh. But it's true. You notice this, gr like, grayish white coating. Yeah. Um, but that's a sign that a, a patient has taken antibiotics that have killed some kind of natural bacteria in the mouth. So, I mean, that could point <coughs> to cancer, but we're not saying that. We're not saying that. Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, a symptom from that. It also could mean that um, there's vitamin deficiencies. So she's hmm. not, or um, dehydration, etc. And also, the this is a little bit disgusting, but um, the reason why she can stick her tongue out so far is because she doesn't have muscle in the back of her tongue, uh. like most people. Ew. Ew. Like you mean so. like a dog? Yes, it, Miley Cyrus is like a little dog. <laughs> 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 like, uh, like a dog. The film Here, thing. <laughs> oh my. The film thing. I I understand kind of. Like, especially with the antibiotics. Because, like, you know how yeah. when you get sick and you take medicine, yeah. it just feels, your tongue feels disgusting? Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. Probably like that. It's all, like, the germs on your tongue, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah, but nobody wants germs. She has a Gene Simmons tongue. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. That's always creepy. Well, you know, humans, we all have our own Gene Simmons tongue, yeah. you know. We all yeah, but we way. Everyone stick has it their out own tongue. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's you so don't sad. see me, like, have my tongue out here. Yeah. No. Yeah. Other news, guys. <laughs> Other news. Besides sticking out your tongue. Yeah. Which is creepy. Yeah. Why would you show me that? That is nasty. <laughs> Why would you that show me that to me? That is nasty. I thought we were friends, Sorabelle. Yeah, yeah. I Sorabelle. thought we were friends. She, she showed her so a picture funny. of Miley sticking out her tongue. Oh, how Someone could actually you? Someone photoshopped it to make it look really long. What? Let me see. Yeah. Don't. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Other news. Is that more scary than before? Yeah. No. It Makes looks like okay. Well, doesn't it? No, that wasn't scarier. <laughs> God, I think I had a heart attack then. Oh my gosh. Speaking of scary, Wally has some cool 
something scary for you guys. Oh, yeah. Um, this all started when I had a, a little trip to Canada, eh? Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah, I know, a little knee slapper there. <laughs> um, my parents, um, we were just walking down the, li this little town, I think it was called Clifton Hill, like near Niagara Falls, and they came across this uh, haunted attraction called Nightmare's Fear Factory. When they found out that over 120,000 people chickened out, they know, they're, they were like, hmm, it must be that scary. We're gonna go. And of course, me, I think I was 13 at the time, still a little scared of everything. Aww. I was like, oh, I'm not going in there. No, 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 uh-uh. You gotta live. <laughs> I know, but- YOLO. <laughs> oh, YOLO, guys. YOLO. No, YOLO. no YOLO. So, you, you only know, live this once. This is America. I was just properly. waiting Carpe for my parents diem. to just get out. <laughs> and then they come out and they're like, Wally, why didn't you go? It's amazing. And then I'm, I'm like, I don't see what's amazing about it. It's a tiny building. But when I saw the website, I'm like, whoa, it's amazing. I want to go now. Um, it's, a, it's a haunted attraction where they give you, like, a set of rules that you have to follow. And you would think that, oh, it must be going on through the whole attraction, right? Wrong. Um, they tell you that you need to follow the red light in order to see where you're going in the attraction because it's pitch black. Mm -hmm. So they tell you, just keep going, don't be afraid. And then all of a sudden you hear this door slam, lock, and then the lights are out. You're completely in, you're in total darkness. You can't see yourself, you can't see what's around you. So... <laughs> The only way to make it through is you have to sh do a little baby step shuffle. <laughs> That's how they get you. When they're making you slow down, and there'll be people touching you, you know, you know, just grabbing on your little uh, shirts, whispering in your ear. They're gonna get you. Ah. That's pretty scary. And, uh, like, there'll be some part in the attraction where they'll just flash the lights, and that's it. It's like one poof, that's it. You're in complete darkness. Now, what this attraction is famous for are the scary pictures. Um, what they do is they make you, you know, walk into, like, a quiet hallway, and then a giant car with a loud horn comes out of nowhere, and then they take your picture right there. Now, I have pictures here. They're hilarious. We, w we saw a few of them before the show, and we were all laughing. Like, there's people, like, They're grabbing so other people. Oh, really? people yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's gifts about it, too. And there was one, uh, am I twerking yet? That's hilarious, because this girl's, like, shaking, and it looks like she's twerking. It's hilarious. <laughs> so if you guys ever make a visit to Canada, I suggest you go to Nightmare's Fear Factory. It's in Niagara Falls. It's supposed to be their premier haunted house attraction, so I think ahead. I'm going to plan a trip to Canada just for that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're actually gonna do this, Kate. I want to do okay. that, and if like I come back to school with like my hair like out here, you well, know I did that. There's only one flaw. If the government would open up, oh. just maybe, <laughs> maybe we can go. So come on. Wait, Congress. I think I have to renew my passport. Yeah. Oh God. Ah, oh, I can't do this now. <laughs> oh. And it's just like right up there. Too. I know. <laughs> the same I could do that while visiting my grandma. No. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, Sorabel has some entertainment news for us. Well, speaking of haunted and scary, I got some scary movies for you, which is called Where the Devil Hides. Ooh, it's yeah. basically about these six girls that were born on the same day. And, yeah, they, they all were born on the same day, and they think that it's a coincidence, or maybe it's based on something serious. So basically, it's really scary. I think it comes out on October 11th, which is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. Friday, and I think I'm going to go see it. You should tell us how it is on Monday. Yeah. All right. Since you're now part I of am. our group. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, so we have a new addition today. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'm so glad to be with you guys. Well, I hate to break it up, guys, but we have to wrap up now. Aww. So to wrap up in a true Kaylee Rogers fashion, well, I shall do the weather. weather. Yes, because I am WHIT Radio's weather girl. Yes, I am awesome. 
course gonna, you are, Kaylee. Gonna do this as my career, guys. I should totally do the weather forever. <laughs> well, right now, it used to, it was like 59, but now it's actually 63 degrees outside, so it got warmer, thank goodness. I was freezing this morning. Um, your sunset is actually supposed to be around uh, 6.30 this afternoon, so if you want to get anything done, try and do that before the sun goes down, because that's not fun. Mm. It's weird. Like, sunrise this morning was, like, 6.50. Sweet. I was awake, and I was like, am I awake too early? <laughs> I'm like, did I wake up no, at five? No, daylight like savings time, not yet. I well, Hello? Hello? Hello, we have a phone we have a, call, we have a caller. Oh, we have a Hello. caller. Hello, caller. Hello, Good evening. caller. Hello. Whoa. Have you ever been to Fry Fest? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, no. Um, <laughs> who, may I ask, is speaking caller? You're listening it to... Is. Count Dracula, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Count Dracula. This? Okay, well, uh, Mr. Dracula, sir, what can you say about Fright Fest? We'd like to invite you all this weekend and the next weekend to come join me and my zombies party. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Why not? What's the worst that can happen? Uh, I suck your blood and you become my servant forever. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Well, we're, 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 we're going to consider it. We're going to, you know, totally. think about going to Fright Fest. We yeah. definitely have to go now. Yes. Yeah. I think, yes uh, why, why would I ever pass up the opportunity to become Count Dracula's servant? I mean, come on. Yeah. Thank you. I will see you there. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Well, it's good to, uh, it's nice to hear you, caller. Uh, thank you for calling. Yeah. Uh, come, call again sometime. Call again sometime. Call again. Yeah. We love you, Dracula. Yeah. Favorite person. In the world. Okay. <laughs> that was very interesting. That was kind of scary. <laughs> I was right. like, what? Well, I guess that's about wraps um, up, Yeah, huh? that wraps up the show, guys. <laughs> All right. Well, have a great day, everybody. Thank you for Bye. tuning in. And I Goodbye. Got, I got Enjoy another gentleman rush with that. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Tune in again. And you were listening to The Final Say. Deuces. Bye. 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 That was my father. Was it really? really? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I was like, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that wasn't like that. That was too bad. I thought that was like, you see the last one, like, oh, you probably got someone to call. I was like, why would I pass this opportunity of being served? I was like, to gaze and fly. Just our hands clasp so tight. Before the hint of a spark. You're literally scared? Oh my god. And then just hit stop. Oh, this hand, that was really funny. Oh, so it's on YouTube?